everyone. Um, I just wanted to do another quick video about embellishing this j same junk journal that we've been working on for a while. Um, and today I wanted to show you what I do with these little envelopes that are inside the junk journal. I have sewn envelope, well, stitched, I guess, envelopes into the signatures. So throughout the journal, I have three or four. Here's one. All right. So here's a blank one. Uh, so the flap obviously is on the other side. I can show you, but that's okay. You know what an envelope flap looks like. So here is one, and I turned these into pockets and fun little things, but I wanted to show you, I embellished one, and I actually did it on camera, and the video didn't work. So I'm gonna just give you a walkthrough of the finished product to show you how it came out, and I'll tell you the process that I did to get it. Um, all right, so we started with the base of a plain old envelope, just like the other one that I just showed you. On this one, I snipped right along the top, and then I punched out this little part of a circle because I like to make make those separate to say, hey, there's something here. So um, I did that. And on this envelope front, I did a little bit of stamping just for fun, just to kind of do something different because that will probably be like a picture spot or a journal spot, something like that. Okay, so that was all I did was... Um, cut the top off, cut this, and stamped, and made my little holy pocket thingy. All right, on the other side of that main envelope, so this is the back right here, I cut out just some journaling paper that I had and cut that down to size. And I used it to, what I did is I put in one of these little craft envelopes and I tucked that right here over that envelope and then I put this paper on top of that flap. So you can kind of see the outline of the flap right here. So that would create this little flip out envelope. Super easy. All right, now um, the next thing I did was I made um, on that little craft envelope right here, it would be just like this one, I snipped off the top right here, and then I did my little punch out right here. So you can see that here. And I went ahead and inked it up a bit. Um, and that creates a pocket. On the back of that, I used one of the tags in the kit, and I cut the top off and just created it to fit the size to cover that envelope, because it was just the perfect width. So I just cut it down to size and I saved that little top to do a tab that I'll show you in a minute. So for this side, I just glued it straight down. This paper is 100% glued down and I put this cute little quote on there. Now for this side, when I glued it down, I only glued around these three edges of this pretty paper here because I wanted to leave this spot open for another little tuck tag. So we have an additional little tuck and it's had, oh yeah, it gets caught on the back. So we have a little spot for an additional tuck there. Now on the tag, when I cut off the little extra, I use this top portion to be this little tab right here on this little journal card. So you can see it's the top of a tag and I just used it as a tab and I punched it for fun and now it's getting in the way whenever I put it in the envelope. So second thought, that might not be the best plan, but it's cute. So you have to decide sometimes between cute and functionality and sometimes cute wins. <laughs> All right, so when I glued this paper down again, I just left this side open so I could create just a little tuck spot right here. It's giving me trouble there. That's easy if you turn it around. All right. Um, and then I can stick this tag in here and I'll probably sew some lace on the top just for fun. I put some lace here. I put a fun little word and I'll have to link. I'll show you, you guys. These are really fun. So I ordered these colorful, beautiful, colorful glue sticks and they turn into the, and then I have these old 
faux seals and um, they're from seven gypsies from years ago I've had them forever and then you just stick it in the glue and it creates these little fake seals so I'll link up to where I got the glue sticks below but they have seals at that same shop that I got them at super fun so I put that little Fleur de Lis right here and um, just for fun and so far I, I was wondering how that would hold up with the Fabri-Tac and it feels like it's on there really good even though this is kind of a waxy material so I think that held up just great and uh, anyway so in this top tuck we made these um, um, little notebooks in another video just some scrap paper in there and I made that I thought this would be a great spot for it to go because these envelopes are really kind of sturdy and strong and that will hold up good with a huge, well, not huge, but, you know, a heavier notebook. So, final product is I have this envelope, some journaling spot, another envelope that just flaps out with a couple of little tuck spots in it. Um, some spots for some journaling or photos or whatnot. And then the back is perfect for journaling and this fun little notebook in the top. So there's quite a lot and it it's not huge. It's not super bulky and I like that when you can get a lot of fun little extra spots without a ton of bulk. So it was a super fun project and I hope I was able to explain it. I'm sorry this is take four. Um, <laughs> sometimes technology just doesn't agree with me. So anyway, um, I'll add a couple of those links below for some of the supplies and super fun project. So. Hope you are all doing good and thank you so much for watching. Bye.